Greeks love eating and so do we. That's why we took a food tour organized by Greek in me to find some of the best places to eat in Athens and to try out some traditional dishes. Come with us on this delicious tour. Our tour begins in Syntagmas Square with traditional Greek breakfast. Greeks are not big on breakfast. Most of them enjoy starting their day with the kuluri and some Greek coffee. But what is kuluri? So this is actually the kuluri. Yeah. The original name is kuluri Thessaloniki. Um, it was brought over the recipe of kuluri. It dates back to the Byzantine period. It was brought over from Asia Minor. Uh, it's a very popular breakfast snack in Greece. As soon as I had my first bite, I realized why Greeks love it. It's delicious, cheap, healthy, and rich in nutrition. There are a lot of bakeries in Athens where you can buy pies, but Ariston is a special one. This uh, shop has been open since like, 1910 by the first owner of Ariston. He introduced the kuru pie to Athens, and now you can find the kuru pie in loads of shops, but this is where it, it, started, it started actually it originated, began. yeah. By talking to some Greeks, we realized how much they love traditional savory pies. Making pies is part of their culture. And in the past, farmers used to make pies with leftovers of cheese and spinach. Any trip to Athens is not complete without tasting some traditional Greek cheeses, especially the most famous one, Greek feta cheese. I'm going to try some feta cheese. Who doesn't like feta cheese? Mm. Good. Tastes different from what I get in London. The best feta is made with sheep's milk or with the mixture of sheep's and goat's milk and should never be made with cow's milk. This one is the combination of goat and sheep uh, meal and we found that if the feta is harder, it has a better quality and this one is the hardest one. Our next stop is Miran. This shop was opened by Kulurian Miran, an Armenian refugee who introduced pasturma to Greece. Pasturma or pastirma is a typical Anatolian air-dry cured meat. The shop itself looks pretty and it smells delicious. This is a selection of beef pasturma, dolmatakia, and Greek cheese. Each platter comes with broccoli. So this is tiporo, also known as araki in Turkey. Um, it's a, an alcoholic beverage. It's very strong, 40-45%. Um, it's made from uh, grape. So essentially the leftovers of, of the grape. It's a very strong drink, traditional. It's fun, it's a fun drink. <laughs> Our tour is not just about eating food. We also found this cute spice shop. I wish you could be here to smell its spices. There is a huge variety of olives in the world and they all have a unique appearance, texture and taste. Everyone knows that Mediterranean olives are some of the best and Greek olives are no exception. I'm going to try the most famous Greek olive, Kalamaka. It's a strong, but good. I like it actually. It is too salty for me. I think I need a bottle of water after that. Visiting local markets is a must if you want to learn about the locals' lives and food culture. Here we are at Athens Central Market, where locals buy fresh fruit, vegetables, meat and fish. There are also some small restaurants. Now it's time to have a real meal. <laughs> the menu of the restaurant can change daily based on the products they have. For our meal, we have a selection of dishes, suzukakia, Greek meatballs cooking tomato sauce, arakas, a tasty Greek vegetable soup, and ratatouille, a vegetable dish. It's time for dessert. Lokumades are traditional Greek balls of fried dough, soaked in honey and cinnamon. 
they are also called traditional Greek donuts. In the past, they were only served to the athletes who won the Olympic Games. But nowadays, they are served as a dessert everywhere in Greece. We are going to end our tour with Greek coffee, actually. Drinking coffee is a vital part of daily Greek life. Greeks use any opportunity to have some coffee. This is why there are various traditional coffees around the country. Greek coffee is a strong black brewed coffee served with foam on the top and coffee grounds at the bottom of the cup. Same as always, thanks for watching.